Any questions? I have one, Jasmine. Um, yes. What, what was the difference or the big reason for Stripe over, say, Square? Well, with Square, I don't, I, I'm not familiar with Square. So I've never, ever used Square, like ever. So I don't really have much, you know, feedback to give on Square. Now, my thing is with like PayPal. Um, I feel like PayPal is a consumer friendly service um, with, especially with trying to like service disputes where Stripe, they're, they are business friendly. So if you ever get a dispute, they will, you know, give you an opportunity to fight that dispute, provide, you know, give you an, a, a way to be able to provide information or, or proof that the service was rendered. So that way they're not being able just to like, you know, take their money out. So that's why I like Stripe over, um, over PayPal. But I mean, you just want some sort of payment processing system. Stripe is just the most, you know, well-known, well-used one, but you can definitely use any kind of payment processing. I just say, just use the payment processing. You don't want to be worrying about people paying you late. Some, I was talking to somebody this morning in my DM and she was saying that um, she's she's frustrated with this client because she keeps paying her late like paying her two to three days after the job. So of course that, that lets me know that, you know, she does not use the payment process. And my first question is, how are they paying you? Oh, Zelle, Cash App, uh, Venmo. So now you're at the mercies of when somebody will pay you because you just can't snatch the funds like you can when you have a payment processing system set up. Okay, thanks. Are you, do you have, are you using Square? I use Square and it, it lets me take a deposit. Okay. Like a, like a pre-authorization hold or actual deposit, deposit? A uh, pre-authorization hold. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cause I know somebody was chatting in the group um, today and was, you know, advising somebody to make sure that they take a deposit um, a deposit, a $20 deposit when they are booking the service. But, you know, it's, it goes the same thing, like the $20 deposits being sent by Zelle, but I mean, they, they'll still have a delay in paying. Like you're still at the mercies of, hey, I'm, I'm all done. Can you please complete X, Y, and Z? So I would definitely recommend. I hope everybody that has their business already set up that you that you have some sort of payment processing system. Now, Ms. Jasmine, did you um now on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, was you saying was Stripe free or the stripes uh charge like um uh, like take a percentage out of oh, your yeah. Yes, Stripe charges. They take it on the okay. back end. So Stripe takes it on the back end and they will, I think it's 2.9 percent um with like a 30 cents like it's like little fees but they add up um so they definitely take it out on the back end okay and i guess now what my question was which you know uh, you said like with like the book and koala and stuff you had to have like some type of payment system so what i was just trying to figure out like um and i i guess i'm confused um i don't understand like why we can't connect our bank account straight to book and koala like for it to deposit like some like direct deposit so we connect our um you know account straight to it so the funds can just be straight deposited into our account so i'm just trying to figure out like why we had to go through that third party well because your bank account because even if you went through your bank account what you would have to get is you would have to get a merchant service um, because your actual bank cannot go and get the funds from the other bank. 
right? So your bank is just the, the receiver, is just receiving the funds. Um, so what Stripe does, it's a payment process. And so they actually have the authorization to you to get that person's card and to deduct the money from that person's card. So that's why you have Stripe. Because so, with the bank account, the bank account, there's no, they don't have any authorization to, or no authority or any access to be able to actually go into the account and take the money out. So like, even if you went to your bank, you'll have to talk to the business banker and get with their merchant services. And I don't even know if their merchant services has that option versus like, you know, being able to just receive payments. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know because I never use that option, but yeah. So that's the reason why you can't have a bank account connected to Stripe and you have, I mean, to a uh, booking Koala because you need the way to actually take the funds out. So like if you have your booking Koala, you have your booking Koala account set up, right? If you don't have PayPal or Stripe set up on your booking Koala, when you scroll all the way to the bottom of the booking page, when the customer is booking, there would be no option to even receive a card payment. The only way that you'll be able to receive payment on there is through cash or check. And you definitely don't want to do that. You can't even create an invoice um, on booking Koala. So you have to have some sort of payment processing system connected to be able to take the funds and, ex and to be able to accept card payments, not like card, C-A-R-D, card payments from your clients. Okay, got it. So mainly that that service is like our invoice, basically, instead of us making an invoice. They just create, like, you know, doing the invoice and just getting the money for us. Like, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Stripe is like the cashier at the store. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, Eric, I, I think this question is from, from Eric. So you're running ads on Indeed. And getting horrible results. I mean, the only thing for Indeed, the only thing I can think of is, is uh, tightening up your job ad and putting, you know, more detailed qualifications. Now, also for Indeed, are you if you get a bad um, resume, are you reporting it so that way they can replace it with another one? Like if they don't meet the qualifications, you are, okay. Yeah, I mean, indeed, I guess that, that's another one that I have a, a, a love-hate relationship with because indeed is good when it's good and then it's bad when it's bad, especially when you're not getting anybody and you get that bill and you be like, what the heck did I just paid for? That's why I really love, I mean, like I said, indeed makes it just easy because it's just all the resumes all in one nice little place. Um, but I would just, that's why I like doing the other options with like the Facebook groups and Craigslist, Facebook marketplace and partnering with those cleaners, um, because it's free, you know, I can message them all day long. Um, and like I said, the thing about those partnering with those cleaners is like, they're looking for jobs. Have you tried any of those methods? Like the Craigslist, Facebook marketplace and Facebook groups? Yeah. And how does that, how, how is that working for you? Like when you message them and reach out to them. Yes, it's a hit and miss because it'll determine like if they respond back. And I mean, HR is always going to, I mean, it's always going to be a, a hard part. This is why companies like have like full HR funded HR departments. And then not only that, why they have like, uh, when I said the word in my head, um, temp agencies, because HR is, is a very hard part of the business. Like it's an extremely hard part of the business because it's a part of the business that has to be continually done and you can, and, it, and it's costly. People spend a lot of money on HR and spend a lot of money on training and onboarding new people 
for them like not to show up like day one to be gone, right? Um, like the acquisition cost for a new cleaner can add up, especially if you're not getting a good return on your investment when you're having to spend so much money on Indeed. Um, most don't take 50 to 60. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. I, I wish I can like, I, I, I wish I could like have some kind of magic words to say, but I really don't. Um, the only thing I could just say, like you just, it just something that just has to be continually done. And the ones that don't take it, you know, like, you know, they just don't take it, but there are good cleaners out there. Um, like there really, really are. It just has to be done so frequently to where you'll have more options than that, than what you're reaching out to. Are you the one that's like doing all your hiring or do you have somebody doing the hiring for you? Um, I'm doing all the hiring. So We've done Zip Recruiter. Uh, oh man, that was a massive fail. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then um, so, but the first time we started looking for uh, cleaners, we went to um, Craigslist, and um, that was the first time that I realized Craigslist now pay, uh, you have to pay to to, to yeah. run ads on Craigslist. I'm yeah. like, what? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we didn't get. We got like very few hits on that last night. We, uh, the, so we've been running this hiring campaign or, um, um, you know, a campaign on Indeed for the past, it's been about a week. Every day we get at least one person who secures, um, a, a Zoom call with us mm -hmm. every single day and every single day, except for yesterday, we have been ghosted. The one lady who, uh, who hopped on the Zoom with us yesterday looked like she just woke up <laughs> um we specified on you know on the uh, app uh, uh the advertisement you gotta have uh at least conversational english if not fluent you gotta <laughs> at least be conversational we could me and my wife sat and looked at each other the whole time like what is she saying <laughs> like i think she was she said she, she and she got upset when I asked her, my, my wife is a uh, HR professional, so okay. she kind of elbowed me in the ribs. When I asked her, excuse me, man, what is your native language? My wife said, you can't ask people that stuff because, you know, if you don't, if they don't get hired, you can, they can potentially go uh, to the EOC and they yeah, discriminated against you because they didn't know. But she got offended. Like, I'm, I'm from, she was from Africa, from some um, country in Africa but I swear to you Jazz I, we couldn't understand a word she was saying and she said I'm speaking English no you're not ma'am yeah <laughs> and Texas is so hard because you know the people out here are not very uh kind when it comes to that at all for sure for sure so yeah, it, the, I mean, we are our advertisement is really robust. We special uh, we specify specifically the kind of candidate we're looking for. We have the deal breakers in there. Um, the whole so now when you are looking, though, so with that, you have the ad, right? But mm -hmm. are you looking at people actually posting the jobs? Um, babe, do they have do they have photos of themselves? Oh, okay. No, not on Indeed. But no, um, I mean like on Craigslist. Oh, on Craigslist. Yeah, we stopped. We pulled the plug on Craigslist like about a month and a half ago. Um, but even on Craigslist, I don't think we have photos, huh? No, nah, no photos. So let me show you. And Naomi, I'm I promise you, Bay, I'm still looking too. Okay. Uh, like I know you guys can see me, but I'm still looking on the back end. Okay. Eric, I'm about to go to Craigslist so I can show you what I mean. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's see. Service. Um, is it household or is it labor? Okay. So boom. So this is what I mean by like coming to Craigslist. So I go and look for the people that are advertising cleaning services, right? So I'm not looking for big companies. I'm just looking for normal 
mom and pop, single, solo, auntie, tia, you know, like the, like those kind of cleaners, right? And now I'm reaching out to them. So I have their phone number. Sometimes I'll re- mention their name. Um, and mm-hmm. then if you hit reply, I'll sometimes reply back to them directly on here or I'll get their email, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so this is how I'm like using Craigslist. So mm-hmm. I'll do it this way. So what happened to my, I thought I saw another one on here. Um, that's dope jazz okay nah we haven't we haven't thought look, about like, doing this now of course you have your repeats because they're continually you know advertising but this is this is exactly what i mean by craigslist facebook and facebook marketplace because i'm doing the same exact thing on here so i come on here and i'll just type in made house clean all the keywords right all the things Mm -hmm. And then I'll just look up their advertisement on here, reach out to them. If it looks like it's a professional, like this one kind of iffy, you know, I don't know if I would reach out to this person, but I don't ever want to like absolutely say no, but this is, these are the ones I'm looking for. Uh, Okay. Okay. This, yeah, this this is is a perfect example right here. This is a solo cleaner, right? I have examples and pictures of her work. It looks like it's two of them. Well, I guess maybe three, because this is a different girl. So I get this phone number and I'm calling them up because they're looking for cleaners. I mean, they're looking for clients. This is a gym, Jazz. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then with the Facebook groups, what I do for the Facebook groups, I will go to the actual area that I'm servicing. So let me show you on the Facebook group side. Um, So uh, let's see. Um, and we we've been doing that uh for next door as well Um, that same way like that yep 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 so yeah so it's the same thing so then so then i'll go into like a community so like whatever area that or subdivision that you're servicing then Mm -hmm. I, i find those facebook groups and i type in maid service so i'm looking for the people that are looking for maid services right and i just made a post in facebook group about this earlier it was like hey i'm looking for maid services and then you'll get a whole bunch of people that oh try Mm -hmm. this company try this or my lady's really awesome try her right Mm -hmm. but then in the mix of that you'll get actual cleaners responding as well so like hey i can help you i'll send you a dm or i can help you i'll send you a dm right Mm -hmm. um and I'm reaching out to them. So then I'll respond on the post with, oh, I'm looking too. Can I send you a DM? Just so she can keep a lookout and it's not just sitting in the request box. Mm-hmm. And then I will start co- conversation like that. And that's how I find my cleaning. Because now I know they actually service the area that I'm trying to provide the service in. Okay. 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 Cool. Right. Good stuff. Thanks, Jazz. You're welcome. All right. Let's see. Um it helps to refresh the ad on fa- on Craigslist every week too. Awesome. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, you contact them even though they say, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, because like th- essentially they are looking for, um, they are looking for clients, right? They're looking for clients. I'm looking for customers. So yes, I totally call them. I to- I send them a text message. I give them a call. I send them an email. Um, and then my approach is super informal um, because I don't want to come off like I'm offering them a job. Like they already have a business. So it's just like, hey, um, this is Jasmine. I do still offer cleaning services in X, Y, and Z, right? And they're like, yes. Um, they'll start asking me questions like I have availability there like okay awesome my name is Jasmine I own a small cleaning company here in Dallas and I'm looking to partner with some reliable cleaners do you guys have availability to take on extra clients right and then that is like my bait to see if they're interested I was in sales and banking um so I have real tough skin when it comes to like uh sales and this isn't sales, but you kind of, it's, you have to play the number game like sales, right? Like I understand the philosophy is I'll reach out to a hundred, right? 50 will answer, 20 will be interested. 10 is going to meet the requirements and two is really going to be like my gems. So 
I understand the number games and it's very similar with hiring as well. Um, so yeah, I reach out to them <laughs> most definitely. Okay. Any other questions um, about anything with, or pretty much anything? What do you guys have any other questions? Please definitely take advantage of this period of, of Tuesdays. I want to make sure that you guys have all questions answered. And then uh, Margarita, also I've introduced um, having new member orientation because I'm getting a lot of messages where people is trying to uh, learn how to navigate the new platform or, or the platform in general, trying to figure out where everything is at. So if you're available, um, or is it on Friday or Monday? I think it's on Monday. On next Monday, um, if you're available at 7 p.m., you can attend that as well. Um, and then I'll kind of just be giving a good overview of where everything is at, how you can really um, maximize your experience on the platform. So that's when I have a question. Yes. Okay, so I'm trying to wrap my head around this part. When you get like a lead and you're communicating with that lead, okay, and you're pulling up pricing the job that they want done, um, like let's say in my mind, I'm thinking that I'm going to go to my website and be filling out the quote thing with the number of bedrooms, number of baths, square footage as they're talking to me. So after I find the information, I pull that up. We discuss any um, discounts or whatever. How do I then, like, where does it go from there? Okay. And I'm so sorry. Okay. So you're saying like that you're talking to a client and you're currently in the process of booking them, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you give them the quote and they're interested. And then now what's next? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, and Naomi, I, I finally figured out where it's at too. Um, okay, so let's say you're talking to the client. They're totally interested. You put all their information in. Um, from there, because you don't want to ask them for their card information. You want to just save it as a quote. So let me like make a fake one up. Um, boom, boom, boom. You want to book 18, 1 p.m. Okay. So then you'll save it as a quote. And then I don't normally send the email. I just do share a link. So then I'll copy this link and then I'll send it to Oh my goodness, it wasn't even on share screen. You're probably like, girl, what's she talking about? I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. So you'll go in and like act like you're 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 making a booking, right? And say moving, mm -hmm. right? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here to save as a quote, and then you'll do share link. I normally don't send an email, I just do share a link. I'll copy this link and then send it to them. Um, and then, so like, I'll copy the link and send it to them. Um, uh, like if I'm talking to them on Google or Yelp or whatever that's, whatever that's at. And then I'll be like, here's your co uh, confirmation booking link. Please complete this as soon as possible. Um, so that is normally like how I go if they're not booking directly on the website. Okay. Okay. I got it. And then, of course, you know, you want to make sure you follow up to have them complete that booking link. Um, and then once it books, you'll see it pop up on your on your dashboard. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you so much. Yep, that makes sense. OK, look, Naomi, I finally found it. Oh, my goodness. I always be tripping in this I, always. So and I probably even passed over here. So you want to go to notifications, right? It's literally the very last one on the bottom. You go to notifications and then you go to general and then you'll put your email. So make sure your email is in this space, okay? Um, your sender email, admin email, customer reply email. Make sure your email is in these places with the proper display name. Um, if you do have this already in there, you're like, yo, Jazz, I did that, cool. 
resend the email verification and then verify it. Also, don't forget to press update. Um, I know like it's super simple, but um, a lot of the different pages on Booking Koala, there's an either an update page or a save on the very bottom. So if you're not pressing it, each time you're done with that section and you go out of that section into somewhere else, then it doesn't, it doesn't take that save. So like you'll see like this is this update is just for this section. So if I scroll down, like here's a save, here's a save button. So you want to make sure that you're pressing it for each section that you're making your changes with. So if you have your emails in here, just I would just resend the just resend your verification email. Okay. Um, if you don't have it in there, you go to notifications all the way, all the way on the bottom, go to general, and then input your email addresses in here. And instead of it saying resend email verification, it'll just say send email verification. Um, well, actually, I think you want to press press update first or save and then send. Um, and then you'll then look for it. And then once you confirmed it, then you can go back over here to your providers. Um, providers. We'll just pick this person. Um, uh, where is it at? It's... Now look, I'm now trying to find something else. Uh, okay, boom, there it is. So I went to providers, um, I tapped on the name of the person and then you wanna go to profile and then you'll come down here and then resend welcome email. Let me know, I can't see the chat. Uh, I mean, the, the people, Naomi, let me know if you under, if you got a good understanding now of that area. Oh, I don't think she's on here no more. Well, hopefully she'll watch the replay <laughs> because I finally figured it out. I'll send her a message and tell her to make sure she watched this replay on um at 8.03, okay? Uh, let's see. What's your opinion on showing prices up front on your website versus having them call you for a quote? Um, I like the prices up front. I love the instant booking option because that's how I'm able to get like, that's how you're able to get bookings all throughout the night. Like, you know, that that's, that's the idea of passive income, like to where you're not having to work and you make that sleep money. You know, you can, you can get bookings all night. Um, so yeah, definitely instant booking. Definitely. Um, that quotes or sending the quote or have to call people. I mean, older people will understand that process. Younger people would be like, well, heck no, they're just going to go to somebody else. So I would definitely recommend having uh, like that instant booking on there. Any last minute questions? And we can go ahead and wrap tonight up. Let's see, are you still booking one on ones for site? and process reviews, or will we now go on circle and request it? Yes, so you can, um, you can, I'll make a request. Normally you can just send me like a DM, but, um, and then we can do it on a call. Or if you have it, we can do it right now. Let's see, can I have an attorney contact? Please, there's a replay I was watching and I need it. Can I have the attorney contact? Oh, the attorney contact. Yes. Um, I was like, <laughs> I was like, you want the attorney to contact me? No. Um, is it on that? Is it on there? Let me check see if it's on there. Um, so I thought it was already on there, but if not, I can I'll definitely add it on her space. 